Fifteen U.S. senators from both the Republican and Democratic parties have written a letter to U.S. President Barack Obama urging him to assist peaceful and democratic transition in Ukraine. The senators also raised concerns about actions and rhetoric from the Russian government, which they claim aims, quote, to actively undermine Ukraine's unity and extend its control on the ground. U.S. State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki said the White House has not made a final decision on how to assist Ukraine. We haven't taken options on or off the table, Matt. It's an ongoing discussion. Obviously, we take into account events on the ground. It would not be uh, effective for us to engage in a military conflict with Russia on this issue. Stephen Pfeiffer, the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, says it is important to take steps immediately to prevent further Russian intervention. If we don't take action now, there is a serious risk of further Russian incursions, further Russian attempts to redraw borders, and they may take place in places that we can't ignore. And the cost then to the United States of pushing back will be much more expensive than what we're advocating today. Pfeiffer said Ukraine needs one billion U.S. dollars this year and the same amount in the next two years. Finally, we propose that the U.S. government engage with other NATO allies to see if they would be prepared to provide both uh, lethal and non-lethal assistance. And of particular use to Ukraine would be equipment from Central European allies who have former Soviet hardware that's compatible with what the Ukrainians now use. The U.S. government has provided Ukraine with some non-lethal military supplies, including body armor and night vision equipment, but it has stopped short of providing weapons.